Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my first Twisby. This is the Twisby Mini. Um, it is with the extra fine nib. It's a piston filling fountain pen. I found this particular model on Amazon and it has the diamond barrel. So it's a smaller version of the Twisby 580 diamond. Um, it has that faceting on the barrel. So I already took it out of the box but it's still here in its plastic case. Um, so I will take it out of this one now. It will have two sticker tabs on the end that you'll have to release first, and then you can take out these um, plastic clips. So I've had this one for quite some time. I just haven't used it yet since I was inking up other fountain pens that I had but this diamond faceting in the sunlight is just beautiful. So I love transparent bodies. I also love pocket pens. So this mini really is a pocket pen size. The uh, cap unscrews and then that is the extra fine nib. So this is the smallest nib um, made by this particular brand. And even though it's a mini, you can see it has a huge ink capacity. I think it's 1.7 milliliters, I think is what I've read. Now what's neat here too is this will screw up to that O-ring and it will hold it on there tightly. So the 580 does not screw on. In fact, it can kind of cause some problems if you spin your knob. But because of the placement for this one, um, it does not interfere with the piston in any way. You're able to put the cap on there without interfering with the piston mechanism. So let's go ahead and give this one a weight measurement. Um, empty without ink, it's measuring at 20 grams, which is, I'm finding my perfect ideal weight for me. Um, the aluminum all sports are around the same weight. So this is 0.7 ounces with it being empty. Um, so about an equivalent would be the, the all sport, Coeco all sport. I'm going to put the Jock Herbane Emerald of Chavor ink. Um, I got this sample from Goulet Pens. Um, I've seen the bottle. I'm this will probably be the first big bottle of ink I purchase, but I did want to try it out first. Um, and so I thought I would put it inside of this piston filling, um, hopefully an everyday write, everyday carry uh, type of pen for myself. So with this, all I'm going to do is just get it at a tilt so that my feed is really in there. Thank you for that tip from one of my viewers since I'm kind of new to loading fountain pens with the ink that makes all the difference in being able to really get a full fill um, on these piston fillers. So I just make sure to really get it down in there and make it at a slight angle to where my feed is completely in there and I get a pretty full um, fill into my mechanism there. All right, so this is a Tomoe River paper. I think this one is the 52 GSM, um, so one of the older ones that I've had. So here I'm going to write out the ink sample with the Twisby extra fine nib, and um, I'll also make sure to make write down what brand of ink this is. I'm really amazed at this extra fine, truly is an extra fine, but it is not scratchy at all. It's the only extra fine I've tried so far that I really like in that it doesn't feel scratchy. It just, it flows um, just like a fine nib or even a medium nib to me. This one feels really good. So I am going to really enjoy using this one as uh, an everyday writer. Um, it's just really great. So here I'm measuring it closed is almost four and three quarters of an uh, inch. And then if I put the cap on the other way, I'm at five and three quarters of an inch with it posted. 
And again, it rests on my hand just right. It would be pretty much too short if I tried to do it without the lid on there. So this one is a pen that I would definitely use um, posted and wow look how beautiful that ink looks in there so here it is um, my initial fill I filled it just a little bit as you can see here just to make sure that I liked it and then I went back in and I really filled it all the way but here you can kind of get a good look at what that color looks like in the barrel well if you love these Twisbees as much as I do please give this video a thumbs up today's video clip travel clip i'm taking you to banos ecuador it's kind of in the middle of ecuador in the andean mountains believe it or not this is the dry season uh, we went through a waterfall here but you can see how green and lush this is the oldest road between banos and a town named puyo here in ecuador and it's one of the few roads on a mountainside that actually has a barrier between you and the bottom of the cliff. So that was kind of refreshing for once. But you can see this area is just dotted with beautiful homes. But what it's mostly known for is this incredible waterfall called Pailon del Diablo. And it is massive. It took us, I wanna say three hours to climb from the bottom or the base of this waterfall to the top. It also has called Casa del Arbol. It's a swing that you swing out the side of the mountain towards that uh, volcano and it looks like you've just come off of the earth even though you really haven't. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today. More Fountain Pen Friday links are posted below. I have a playlist, so feel free to check that out and I'll see you next time.